Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Sacred Union Energy Update. It feels like forever since I've been on channeling messages. It's only been a week, but it feels like a lifetime. That is the craziness of this journey. It really shows you that time is an illusion. It can stand still or, or it can go on forever. Um, and on this journey, things, especially with your divine counterpart, can shift within the space of an hour there and back again. It really is just a wild, wild ride. Um, so I am going to be doing a quick, fairly quick, we'll see what, what happens here, um, Noon Energy Update. We're going to be back later on this week for a full reading um, with an extended reading for Patreon subscribers. So if you are interested in becoming a Patreon subscriber for $11.11, .11, uh, you get not just this month's readings, exclusives, and extended readings, pick a piles, bonus features, but also all of the previous readings from previous months as well. So um, that helps to support this channel. There are a number of other ways to help support me and this free work that I do here on this channel. Um, those are all listed in the uh, description box below, including the GoFundMe, um, which is still up. That is really helping to support me. Thank you guys so much for your generosity, for your support. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that love. You have really, really helped me um, the past month. Um, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. You guys came together for me, and I just love you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I want to start first with channel messages. Um, this is um, just... Because there were so many downloads, there were so many things shifting on this journey for the collective as well as for my own experience, there's stuff that I want to relay first. So if you haven't already, please do check out the Healer Warrior um, energy reading or the, the channel messages video that I did. Link is in the description box below. It's a new Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine mission template. Really powerful stuff there for those who are in Sacred Union or coming into Sacred Union in the process of Sacred Union. Um, it was, we talked about that there are mass awakenings happening. We talked about what is sacred union. And we talked about what is the healer, the warrior, this new mission template that I was given as a channel message. It's what you're doing as divine feminine, divine masculine in the sacred partnership. You are truly healing the collective. And we talk about how you're healing the collective as you come together in physical reunion in that video so please do check it out if you haven't already really really powerful stuff there um so i'm gonna do um over the next two weeks i'm gonna be recording some videos uh, a shorter series here it's gonna be a, a series on ascension and sacred union we're gonna talk about what are twin flames what is sacred union what is relationship and partnership what is mission um these are all things that i've already channeled over the course of the past year on this channel um, it's all in the Ascension series channeled messages. You can find that playlist here on the channel. That's stuff that I did not expect. <laughs> I hadn't heard it from any other reader. Um, I hadn't read about it. I didn't know what Twin Flames was when I first started this Ascension journey um, about two and a half years ago now. Um, but when I started channeling messages, that's what started coming through. It was a higher level template for divine counterparts, twin flames, twin souls. It doesn't matter what you call it. That's really truly just the label. But when I was doing these readings or starting these readings, I was really getting some higher level ascension energy and downloads and messages that were coming through about sacred union, about mission, about divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So you can check all of that out in the channel messages playlist, but I'm going to break it down even further for you guys in a shorter series, um, kind of just do a refresh. Um, so if you guys have a question, feel free to let me know in the um, comment box below. I'll either add it to the series or I'll do a special uh, Q&A. Um, you can kind of do like an ask me anything. So make sure you stay tuned for that. There is something else that I want to mention. Um... When I was doing the Healer Warrior video, we talked about that there are mass awakenings happening on this planet because you're not just the ones who are going through ascension, but the planet as a whole is going through ascension. And your friends and your family might not be consciously aware of this. They might not be consciously understanding that they're waking, so-called waking up, um, but they are. The, everybody's on a spiritual path. They might be just on their individual path where... We're on a collective path, but they might not be consciously aware of it. Everybody's in their own time, in their own stage. Um, everybody's exactly when and where they're meant to be on their journey. 
um, everything is perfect for the soul's individual growth and expansion where they need to be. Even you guys, even me, everybody is where we need to be. We're exactly where, when and where we're meant to be. And sometimes we can get caught up in that. When we ourselves are not where we want to be, if we want to level up faster, um, we can get kind of discouraged within ourselves. Um, conversely, when we're seeing friends and family that we want to talk to about spirituality and awakening and ascension, but they're just not understanding that, we can get a little bit discouraged there. But it's truly understanding and embracing that everybody truly is on their own path. We're on the same path as spirituality. We're on the same path of ascension and awakening. But everybody is at the level of understanding that they need to be for their own individual soul's growth and expansion. But mass awakenings really are happening on the planet. And what's interesting is I had channeled the Bastille song, um, Pompeii. And when I channel, my conscious mind takes a step back so that the subconscious comes through. Um, the soul, spirit, my spirit guides, ascended masters, archangels, and my galactic team comes through. So my, my own egoic mind, my own conscious mind actually takes a step back and I don't really know what I'm saying. Um, I'm aware, I'm here, but... I don't really know what I'm saying until I go back and watch the video over um, and, and put the pieces together. Um, so when I channel, especially when I channel music and songs, I don't always get the lyrics right. So what's interesting about this, and they said this was on purpose, um, when I sang one of the lyrics to the Bastille song in that video, I said the world keeps crumbling down. The lyrics are actually the walls keep crumbling down, but they said that was on purpose. It feels chaotic in the world today the world keeps crumbling down right now systems infrastructure um corporations government things in the world as a whole is in fact crumbling down because the planet as a whole is raising in vibration so the matrix seems to be crumbling in that it's as we're ascending everything that's still in that dense energy that 3d energy that low vibration is, in essence, crumbling. Um, and we channeled that in today's Daily Energy Draw. Um, the from, oh my gosh, see, I, I can't remember what I even titled it. Something about from the rubble comes the rise or rising from the rubble or something like that. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description box below. See, that's what I mean when I channel. Um, but the world feels like it's in chaos. The world feels like it's crumbling as a whole because it's exactly what happens on your own individual journey on ascension. Your whole world kind of falls apart in a tower moment because anything that's out of alignment with you, the truth of who you are, which is love, which is light, which is soul, which is a high vibrational energy of that light, of that love, of that joy, is, is falling away. You're getting rid of all the patterns. You're getting rid of all the illusions. You're getting rid of all the mass. Anything that's keeping you from your true authentic self. Well, you're the microcosm. The world as a whole is the macrocosm. And so what you're seeing as you go through this ascension journey, you know, you've seen that you may have changed careers. Your relationships may have shifted. Your partnership may have shifted. You may have shifted. That's happening on a grander scale now because the world itself is going through ascension. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Um, when they were correcting me with the lyrics, I said it's actually twofold, that song that I channeled. Um, so, on a macro scale, yes, the world is crumbling down. But that's only so that we can get in alignment with the fifth dimensional consciousness, unity consciousness, love consciousness. But what's also interesting is I said the correct lyrics, the walls are crumbling down, that's coming into the microcosm with your divine partner where your walls between you two, as you come into sacred union, your walls are coming down between you two because what's happening is you are coming into alignment with your true authentic self. So the masks are falling away, the illusions are falling away, the walls are coming down between you two, especially as you come into this physical partnership, this physical union. And what's happening as you come into physical union, as I mentioned in that Healer Warrior video, is you're doing collective healing now. And so you're going to be communicating better. You're going to be integrating better. You're going to be balancing your energies better. And time and separation is coming to an end. You might still take some time apart, 
Um, you might still have some moments where um, you're triggering each other, but you're going to be working through it in a more balanced way. You're going to be expressing love to each other in a more balanced way. This is truly laying the foundation for the next level of your partnership. And man, is it beautiful. And I can tell you guys from experience, it is beautiful. Challenging sometimes, yes, because you are trying to fit this sacred partnership into, in reality, a 3D relationship. Um, trying to understand it in a 3D context. Um, and, and it just can't be. But at the same time, you are human. And so you are trying to kind of understand what it's like, like trying to, to, to form a relationship in the 3D. And so you have stuff to work out. You have communication to work out. You have conversations to be had. What do you want commitment to look like? What do you want your future to look like? What do you want partnership to look like? But you're working that out now together. That's the 3D aspect of it. But the higher dimensional aspect of it, the spiritual aspect of it is just the love. And you're coming into greater and greater harmony with each other. And so the love really truly is what matters. So that's amazing. So, okay, we're going to get into this. Do a reading and see what is going on. Um, we're going to do an extended reading later this week where we dive deep into the headspace and heart space of the masculine and feminine um how they're feeling about each other what they're thinking but i just want to get uh just a general overall energy and see what's going on with these divine counterparts is this the deck yeah they've been calling me to this deck lately this was my tried and true deck it's the uh golden universal so i think we're going to use this just basically rider weight tarot yeah we're going to use this one okay um, actually, I'm going to get a Romance Angels first and see where you guys are with regards to your partnership. So, where are, we, whoops, where are you guys with regards to Sacred Union? I'm really excited to do that Ascension series because we're going to talk about um, everything that I just channeled when I was going over this refreshing those channel messages there were new messages that were coming forth so i'm excited to do the q a and the ascension series so do let me know if you have a question um and i'll try to get some channel messages for you guys feel free to ask me um anything and if i you know i will do my best to answer i'm also open to personal reading so if you want me to tap into your own energies please feel free to reach out to me susan.spiritual.com all of my offerings are available on the website there under services Okay, um, where are these sacred partners? What's going on with these sacred unions? Please, Spirit, what's going on with these sacred unions? What is happening with these sacred unions? What is happening with these sacred unions? Nope, <laughs> we're not taking half the deck. What's going on with these sacred unions? And this can be the one. Here's what this is. I feel like you guys are both acknowledging this. I feel like you are, and, and there's no twin flame. Um, I shy away from the twin flame label because I feel like it has gotten such a connotation attached to it. Um, and there can be a lot of negative energy attached to that. So I stay away from the, the twin label. Um, but soulmate, twin flame, twin soul divine counterpart, whatever it is that you want to call it, remember, it's that resonance. It's that deep spiritual bond, that soul bond. It's it's that fifth dimensional energy. Um, it's not the 3D relationship that you've known before. This is really that deep heart resonance relationship, partnership, um, soul connection. Um, so when I see soulmate, that's what I see. I see sacred partner. Um, and, and what this really feels like, but this could be the one, is that you're both recognizing this in each other now where before one or both of you may have been blocking this or not recognizing this not wanting to acknowledge this now i feel like you're recognizing this in each other and like i said the walls are crumbling down the walls that you had guarded your heart f from and that was just ego's way of trying to protect you you know ego is not the enemy we need ego as humans you know that's that's 
ego has protected us for lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes. That was its job. It was only doing what it knew to do. Um, ego was basically survival mode for you. But now what we're doing on Ascension is quieting the ego, saying, ego, you can take a step back so that spirit and soul can take a step forward. Your intuition can lead you now. Your heart can lead you now. You can trust in heart to lead you now. And that's what's happening here between these two partners is the ego, the fears, the patterns, the survival, the protection is taking a step back so that the heart can rise and speak more loudly and more clearly. Because what is that but just soul? And so your divine partner might not know or be consciously aware of the label twins, twin souls, twin flame, um, soulmate, uh, divine counterpart, sacred partner. They might not be aware of the label that you're using, but they're feeling the resonance. And remember, that's what's important is the resonance. They're understanding the connection. They're recognizing that this is something they had never experienced before, that this is pure, genuine, true love. That this really truly is, not just could be the one, but that this truly is your person. They feel like you're their person, just like you feel like they're your person. I hope I got that right. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. You guys, this is an exciting time. It is a truly exciting time. Like I said before, there, it could feel like there are some challenges, but you guys are working through it. Even the triggers, you guys are working through it or you will be working through it. If my readings have been resonating with you, if you are here, I have a smaller community. Um, I don't have, I have uh, about a thousand followers. I have a smaller community. But what I love about this is you guys are very high vibrational. And I know that if you're here, you're truly resonating with the messages that are coming forth which is amazing. And I hope that those who come after and find this video after, that this these messages are there to guide you as well because that's where you are in the journey. And it's beautiful because that means that you're in this energy of coming into sacred union. And if it doesn't look like it in the physical, that's where you have to come into your heart space, come into your faith, come into your knowing. Um, I'm just scheduling uh, tomorrow's daily energy draw, Tuesday's daily energy draw. And it's all about you hold the key to your own transformation, to your partnership's transformation. It all relies on your mindset. It all relies on you and what you believe. Are you going to look at the illusion of the 3D? Because that's just the matrix. Or are you going to follow what you feel in your heart space, the truth of your heart, not what your ego wants you to know, not what your ego wants you to believe, because again, that's that safety, that's that security, that's that protection. It, it wants to protect your heart. Your ego doesn't want you to feel any pain. Your ego doesn't want you to feel uh, any fear. But by protecting you, you're living in that fear. You're By trying to protect you, by trying to keep your heart blocked, you're actually... It's counterintuitive. You're actually living in that fear rather than living from the heart space. Trust in the heart. Trust in what you're feeling and allow yourself to be truly honest with yourself about your connection. That's what being open and ascending truly is about. Being honest with yourself, really facing yourself, really understanding that the 3D is the illusion and you cannot focus on the 3D. You have to focus on what is in your heart space and what is in your heart space is love. That is what soul growth is all about. That's what expansion is all about. Looking inward to understand the self, understand the heart, and really truly listening to your intuition. Why did I get off on that tangent? What were you we talking about? I can't remember. Let's just get into this. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't channel for like a week. <laughs> Everything comes pouring through. Okay. Page of Cups. Seven of Swords. Oh, cool. All right, nice. And the King of Wands. This is Divine Masculine Energy coming through here, which is nice. Um, I feel like, remember when I said that your counterpart, you guys are recognizing this connection? Um, with the Seven of Swords smack dab in the middle here between the Page of Cups and the King of Wands, I feel like your Divine Counterpart, this is the wall that are crumbling down. This is the self-deception that is crumbling down. I feel like he's walking away, Divine Bashlin is walking away from that self-deception. 
he is truly being honest with himself. What was I just saying about trusting what's in your heart? Not listening to the ego of the past pain, not listening to the ego and the fear. This is really about going within your heart space and trusting the love and that's what they're doing. And so I feel like there's, with this page of cups, it feels like there's a little bit of remorse and regret for having blocked their heart for so long because what that actually did was it blocked them from being in this King of Wands energy and taking action. They were so afraid to be their authentic selves. They were so afraid to be seen, especially by you, Divine Feminines, because you always saw them. You always saw the soul of them. You saw beneath any mask, any illusion, you saw straight to the core of who they were. You saw the light inside of them and that scared the shit out of them, just like it scared the crap out of you. It truly did. That's part of, you know, you were triggered as well. Um, because neither of you had truly been seen or understood before, before this connection. But both of you, are now having that open heart and you're laying down the swords of self-deception and I feel like your divine counterpart is feeling some regret and wanting to apologize for this and express themselves emotionally as they move to take action, stepping out of this self-deceptive energy, moving to step into the King of Wands energy, which is very confident. This King of Wands does not hold back. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is fire energy. Fire energy is they go for it. Um, they don't, and it's interesting, I don't read signs, um, but they're pointing me to the swords, which is air energy, which is mental. So they might have been overthinking. And then the cups energy, which is water, which can be very emotional. What's interesting about this I just looked at the bottom and we, yeah, we have pentacles, <laughs> which is very grounded energy, um, but it's not on the spread yet. Um, so very emotional. So they were feeling all these emotions, but they were overthinking, which was blocking them from taking action. But now that they're laying down this self-deception, they're kind of quieting their ego mind here, allowing their heart to truly lead them now. Their heart in their hands now with this cup in their hands. It's their heart in their hands, which is allowing them to want to take action, take authority over the situation. The masculine energy is a leader. They lead, especially in the connection. The masculine energy, they take the lead. They are the ones who, um, how do I say this? They, they take control. Now, it's not control of manipulation. It's not control um, like with an iron fist, that kind of thing. Not at all. Control as in they know themselves and are so confident in themselves, they're not wearing masks. They're not having illusions or, or holding up illusions. They're, they don't have a veil in front of them. They're not hiding themselves away. The king of wands is very confident, self-assured in his authority. It's almost like the emperor energy where he is just ready to take action, feeling very passionate, and that passion is, is what moves him forward to take that lead. So that's this is beautiful. All right, what else we got for energies here, spirit? This is nice. I like this. <laughs> this feels good. You guys, this feels really, really good. I'm going to take, well, okay, I'm going to take them all. Mm. Give me a second. So here we have the, um, um, I'm going to see where they start. want me to start. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to start with the king. Here we have another king. This king energy is that emotion. So not only is he leading from a place of passion and action, but he is truly listening to his heart. This king is balanced. Now, it's an interesting energy because with this, I feel like the star is kind of separate for right now. With this um, two of pentacles, I don't usually like the two of pentacles because it feels like an energy of imbalance and instability and juggling. I feel like... It's interesting. You see how he's hopping on like from one foot to the other? It kind of feels like that at the moment. You might have periods where Divine Masculine, and this is turning into a Divine Masculine reading it seems, you might have periods where your Divine Masculine is feeling very stable and grounded and balanced, 
especially with this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, very grounded, very stable. Again, we have Pentacles. Um, pentacles is physical 3D, so they might be showing up, making the effort, but it's a very stable, secure, grounded energy. I don't have another word for it. It's just grounded. It's just very stable, very present, very in the here and the now. Um, stable. Um, balanced in their emotions with the King of Cups here, feeling um, emotional or feeling the emotion, their, their cup in their hand, having something to offer, but it's a mature energy here. So your Divine Masculine might... How do I translate this? Your, your Divine Masculine might go back and forth between this stability and groundedness and understanding their emotions and being expressive and kind of withdrawing a little bit and being a little bit emotionally unstable, um, a little bit ungrounded, where they might be a little bit aloof, where they might be a little bit not communicative, where they might be a little bit withdrawn, where they might pull back a little bit. So the Divine Masculine... Because this feels like transformation, they are dropping the self-deception. They are letting go of the illusions and the mass, recognizing this connection. And because of that, they are stepping forward and stepping up, I just heard. Stepping up and making the effort. And you're going to be seeing this. You are going to be seeing this. It might not be that grand declaration that I feel like a lot of readers or um, even, you know, people on this journey. So let's just say people on this journey as a whole um, expect or want their divine masculine to come in and kind of sweep them off their feet. I'm hearing from spirit that that's coming. That love is here. It's coming. It is that grand, beautiful, pure, divine love. But understand that this journey really is one of soul growth and expansion. And both of you are transforming. And as you have transformed individually, now you're transforming together in partnership. And that is a process. Everything is a process and processes take time. Transformation takes time, especially when you're reuniting and learning about each other in a physical relationship. Putting those pieces together, that is a process as well. So you are laying the foundation now and part of that foundation is this transformation. So yes, you're going to have the love, but what it's really about is being present in the here and the now and appreciating the moments because it's not going to be those breadcrumbs anymore. It's not going to be that pittance anymore that you maybe had in the past in your relationship, the in and the out, the hot and the cold, um, where you were giving and they were just taking or, or it could be on the other side uh, or the reverse. Take it as it resonates for you and your situation. It's not that anymore, especially as you're coming into this reunion because this is sacred union now. You're coming into the process of sacred union. You are in sacred union. And because of that, things are balancing out. Um, so it might not be. Take it for what it is. Take it, take it for how it resonates. The effort is being made. The effort is being made and it's going to feel different than it did before. They're going to be more expressive. They're going to be more communicative. Um, they might actually be offering some kind of gift. Um, it could be a gift of an actual present. Um, it could be a gift of their presence being there for you, supporting you. Um, so take it as it resonates for you. Every situation is going to be different. Every situation is going to look different. Because even though we're collective, we all have our individual journeys as well with our partners. So it's going to look a little different for everybody. But understand that again it's about resonance this is about using your discernment and recognizing that is it does it feel like it did in the past does it feel like it's pittance does it feel like it's breadcrumbs does it feel like they're only in it for um the sex does it feel like they're only in it for um the emotional relationship for what you can give them for selfish reasons? Does it feel like they're still holding back? Does it feel like they're withdrawing? Does it feel like they're not putting in any effort? Does it feel like you're not priority? You know, whatever the situation was that you experienced with your divine counterpart before, does it still feel like that now? And for the vast majority of you, it will not. 
the vast majority of you, it will not feel like that because this is sacred union and this is transformation and it is going to feel different. So don't be disappointed if it's not, you know, he's coming in with a white horse to sweep you off your feet because we all want that. Unfortunately, that, that's, that, I don't want to say it's not here and it's not happening for you. I don't want to say that you're not going to get that fairy tale love because you are. This is that fairy tale love, but understand that the foundation has to be laid first. And I know this has been a really tough and tiring and exhausting journey, but your romance and your love will be coming. It will be coming. But where we are right now, if you're resonating with my videos, if you're resonating with these readings, where you are right now, this is still the foundation that's being laid. This is still, in essence, the beginning of your journey. It really truly is. Because it's the beginning of a new cycle between you two. It's the beginning of a next phase, of the next level. Do you remember, I can't even remember now, back a couple of months ago, I channeled walking through the doorway. Um, that there was a massive shift that was happening within these connections. We were walking through the doorway. Well, you've walked through the doorway, both of you. And as a result of that walking through the doorway, transformation is happening in your connection. You're leveling up. But you have to integrate those energies. You have to balance out those energies. Transformation and soul growth is not easy. And especially when it comes to harmonizing those energies, equalizing those energies, integrating those energies, it's still a process. So yes, you truly are at the beginning again. But it's a next level beginning. It's not going to feel like the pain and the bullshit and the karma of the past. Even the karma that you experience within your own relationship. Because remember, what you were doing before was you were just kind of clearing your own individual past karmas that was coming up between you two. It wasn't necessarily yours, your pain from your connection. It was your past. It was your conditioning. It was your childhood wounds, your past life wounds, past relationship wounds, fears, addictions, blocks, whatever it was, was coming up between you guys because you are mirrors. So it's coming up between you guys to be healed because of the love. Your love is so strong that you heal each other. So you've cleared that karma. And you've even cleared the karma, any karma that, and you are clearing the karma, they're saying you're still going through that process. I'm clearing the karma of whatever happened between your relationship and so as you do that, that's what brings you closer and closer into that harmony, into sacred union. This is the next phase of that sacred union. This is the next phase of your relationship. And so it truly is like you're back to the beginning, but in a better way. And a couple of, they reminded me of this a couple of months ago. I also said, I also channeled the beginning of how it should have been. Because remember, when you first came together, it was bliss and honeymoon and harmony and love and it just felt so good and amazing and then it kind of all went to shit because of all that karma and all that pain and all that stuff that was coming up between you guys that was ascension now it's like you're going back to the beginning of when you first met and how your relationship how you wanted your relationship to progress if it weren't for ascension i really hope that's making sense this is this is new this is fresh. This is a reboot. This is the zero point. Coming back to the zero point again. This is that brand new beginning. Um, so all that to say, you're still balancing out. Your divine masculine and you are still balancing out. And so with this energy here, this two of pentacles here, sometimes because they're still going through this transformation of stepping into their king of wands energy, letting go of the illusions, healing any remorse regret pain that they felt especially around this connection and you um and learning really learning to tap into their own emotions and offer that love to you and to themselves what's happening is sometimes they will feel very grounded and very stable and very emotionally expressive and sometimes they might be a little bit more immature they might be a little bit more withdrawn and emotionally reclusive and they might not be, feel as grounded and present as you would like them to and what's happening is it's just they're balancing out. That's all that's happening is they are just balancing out. And as you are balancing out, as you're balancing out within your connection with each other. But it's a beautiful place to be. 
because you're working through it together now. And that, I feel like that's what's coming through with the star card because the star card is also an energy of harmonizing. It's also an energy of balance. It's also an energy of you both wish for the same thing. This is you two coming together, having wished upon the same star, so to speak, and balancing out your energies now. You see how it's interesting here. You see how she's pouring the water and it seems very separate. But this water that she's pouring out here, this feels like divine masculine energy they're pointing me to. This water is running into the same stream. So even if it feels like you might be separate right now, you're actually working in harmony. You're actually working together and you're blending your energies. This is giving me temperance energy. With a lot more vulnerability, a lot more expression, a lot more effort and working together. You're truly blending your energies in this harmony because you both want this. And again, what's interesting that the star card came out and not temperance because, again, this has given me temperance energy. This is recognition. This is that recognition that you're each other's soulmate. You're each other's twin flame. You're each other's divine counterpart, sacred partner. You are each other's person. You are each other's perfect match. And you both want this connection. You're both now making the effort for this to work. You're both working towards this connection together because this is your each other's truest wish. Your each other's truest wish, truest happiness, truest joy, truest love. Holy wow. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm going to get one more layer, see if there's anything else they want to say. Yeah, death. This is all about transformation. What was I just saying? Anything else you want to say? Um, this is just validation of what I was just saying. Um, I don't have any fresh energies here. Uh, death card, six of cups, eight of pentacles, and the queen of swords. This is all confirmation of what I just channeled from the previous section. Um, transformation is happening that is drawing you two together in physical reunion, working together. Now both of you putting in the effort with the Eight of Pentacles to express yourselves to each other. This Queen of Swords is high vibration, they're saying. This Queen of Swords is one who is standing in her power, expressing herself, not walking on eggshells, not afraid to speak her truth, not afraid to speak up for her needs, what she wants, who she is. But this is both of you. This is both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energy. This is both of you working together to communicate effectively, honestly, openly, vulnerably. Um, and it's not a harsh energy. Queen of Swords can sometimes, especially in low vibration, can be very cutting, very cold. This is not that at all. This is just expressive. This is just um, hearing the, word, the phrase heart on your sleeve. Both of you wearing your heart on your sleeve now, being open to this connection, putting effort into this connection working together, wanting this to work. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Um, where are we on time? Yeah, I'm going to close out. Um, like I said, I wanted this to be a quickish reading. I think we're going to end with, let's end with this deck. We're going to end with messages. Let's see what you guys are saying towards each other. So Divine Mashlin to Divine Feminine. What does the Divine Mashlin want to say? Um, you guys, this is my Conversations with Counterparts deck, Volume 2. If you're interested in any of my message decks, they are available in my Etsy shop. Volume 2 has two blank, <laughs> two blank cards that you can write your own message from your counterpart. Um, let me pull that out so I don't get that again. Okay, what is oh, Divine Mashlin says, I miss you. Divine Masculine really is recognizing this connection, wanting to come forward, recognizing that they were holding themselves back. And I feel like they don't want to hold themselves back anymore. They are really stepping into their king energy where they're feeling the emotion, wanting to be expressive, wanting to offer that love to you because they don't want to be in the self-deceptive energy anymore. It doesn't feel good to them. It doesn't feel good to hold themselves back. And they realize they, they were just doing that to protect themselves. Their guard, those walls were so, it was like a fortress. Their heart was behind, it was just like a fortified structure. And um, those walls are coming down and it's making them want to take action with a lot of passion and love towards you and towards this connection. Really beautiful. 
Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculinity. What does the Divine Feminine want to say to Divine Masculine? Please hold space for me. You guys, the Healer Warrior video, again, if you haven't watched it, make sure you check that out. It was amazing. What you're doing is you are collectively healing as you come into Sacred Union. And what I relayed in that video was my Divine Masculine and I were, were doing collective healing in the moment we were together. And he was actually standing behind me as I was transmuting and purging for the collective. And what he was actually doing, I channeled later with spirit, was he was holding that space for me. He was protecting me when he was standing behind me. And so I feel like this is Divine Feminine saying, please continue to be my protector. Please continue to be my warrior. Please step into this king mode because I need you to be my Divine Masculine. That's amazing. I'm going to end with a message from Spirit of Guidance for you guys. What do you guys need to know? And then we will be back with a further reading. Beautiful. We'll be back with a further with further readings, uh, more in-depth readings later this week. Final message of guidance for these sacred partners. There's no reason to fear. Could it be more perfect? There is no reason to fear the sacred union. There's no reason to fear the patterns of the past, the pain of the past. There's no reason to fear any potential pain in the future because you're coming together in love. Beautiful reading. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you soon.